Supper clubs and those relish trays used to get mm -hmm. huge part of Wisconsin's uh, food culture and history. Mary Jo Ola is at Tornado Room with the author of a new book that highlights the old fashioned dining experience. Good morning, Robin Charlotte. Now, if you ever wanted to know anything about Wisconsin's supper clubs, chances are you'll find it in this book right here. Now, joining us this morning is its author, Ron Fayola. For people who may not know, what is a supper club exactly? Well, we're sitting in one right now, a tornado here in Madison, and um, it's a place that's family run. Um, they're not chains, they're not corporately owned. They're, um, they, they serve food that you don't find at the home table, lobster, prime rib, uh, kind of a destination for the night. You come in and have some drinks at the bar and uh, a nice big dinner and come back to the bar and have an ice cream drink. Mm. And you talk a little bit on your book, The Wisconsin Supper Club, is that uh, it kind of revisits a time when dining out was an experience. Talk a little bit about that. Again, it, it was um, slow dining. It wasn't this turn them out fast kind of dining. You come in and, like I said, you have a drink at the bar or two and um, you sit down and have relish trays and um, salad and soup and good conversation and then you're your entree and it's you're you're here for a couple hours you know you're, it's not like I said real fast pace and um, a lot of times places had entertainment um, live uh, bands or uh, a guy playing a guitar or something and some still do but um, it was like I said it was a destination from the night so full experience altogether rather than the run and gun that we right. might be so used to nowadays right. Right. why did you want to explore Wisconsin Supper Clubs, what drew you in? I started off by making a movie about fish fries in Milwaukee. And when I did, I was looking for a Supper Club fish fry to put in the movie, I realized Supper Clubs were uh, it, uh, so unique and uh, an, another movie, basically. So that got me started and I went around and did 14 places for the movie. That got picked up by PBS and um, actually went nationwide. and. Um, then the book publisher contacted me and said, how would you like to do a book? And I said, that would be great. And now here we have the book. So, so they sent you out to even more supper clubs. 50. Yeah, we went to, I included 12 from the book or from the movie in the book. And then I did the, you know, found more. So, um, yeah, we have 50 supper clubs and 5,000 miles on the car and lots of good meals. What's the response been? Huge, actually. Um, we're, it's hard to keep up with the uh, sales, actually. We've um, gone into a second printing already. So uh, people really, I mean, if you go to a bar and sit down and say, uh, talk about, hey, what's your favorite supper club? That's it. You're, the rest of the night, you got conversation with everybody at the bar because everybody has their opinion mm -hmm. on that. So Now I have to ask, do you have a favorite? Well, it's hard to say. It's... Um, I, in the book, I put sections called My Take, which kind of gives you an idea of a personal experience I had at the certain supper clubs where I ate with the owners or whatever, you know, something interesting. I never really get around to saying what was my favorite. I had some favorite foods and stuff, but it, with those places, their, their personalities are, are so unique that it's hard to say Just well, this one. one or that one. But a very good experience overall. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us this morning, Ron. Now, if you're interested in finding Ron's book, Wisconsin Supper Clubs, an old-fashioned experience, you can find that at your local bookstore. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you very much.